A Bold Stroke, The Soviet Liberation of Kiev, 1943, designed by Jack Rady, produced in 1996 by Spearhead Games. Game designed by Jack Rady, Game Development and Graphic Productions, Joseph Yaust, Executive Producer, John Venor. Game Components, 122 by 34 inch full color map, one in rules and scenario booklet, 280 die cut playing pieces, and several charts and tables. A Bolt Stroke Kiev 43 is a simulation game of the battles between the Soviet and German forces for the control of Kiev in the right bank of the Dnieper River in November and December of 1943. The scale of the game is 5 miles per hex, with each game turn representing the passage of two days of actual time. Counters represent the Soviet and German military formations that participated in this battle. Soviet counters depict corps, divisions, and brigades. Axis counters depict divisions, brigades, regiments, and some battalions. The game turn sequence. Activity occurs during each game turn in the order listed below. A. Weather determination. B. Initiative determination. C. The first player turn. 1. Supply and replacement phase. 2. Air commitment phase, both players. 3. First movement phase. 4. Second player reserve movement phase. 5. First player combat phase. 6. First player exploitation movement phase. 7. Second player reserve movement phase. And 8. First player second combat phase. Then we have D, the second player turn. Same sequence reversed roles, and E, game turn indication. I'll be playing scenario one, the breakout. The scenario begins on November 1 and ends at the end of November 13th. The red markers indicate the victory point positions that the Soviet player is attempting to capture in order to win the game. As I stated before, I'll be playing Scenario 1, The Breakout. Frustrated in its repeated attempts to break out of the Bukharin bridgehead, the Soviet command secretly transferred a tank army, a rifle corps, and an artillery corps out of Bukharin and into the Leutz bridgehead. The Germans failed to detect the buildup, and when yet another attack was launched from the Bukharin, which is just a camera here. This is the Buchan bridgehead down here. On November 1st, they assumed that this was the main effort. Instead, the Lyutz front erupted on November 3rd. And that's up here at the top of the um, screen. And after a few days heavy fighting, a breakthrough was achieved. Kiev was taken on November 6th. This is the uh, city of Kiev. Fastov on the 2nd. And I should know where that is. But at the moment I don't. Oh, there's Fastov right here. Uh, that was on the 7th. Pavlok. Pavlok. There's Pavlok, and there's Popolnaya on the 8th, and by the 11th, Zitamar was liberated. Zitamar is right here. <laughs> 